first tonight, a Fox 5 exclusive. D.C. police searching for a man suspected of beating an elderly woman. Police release new video of the suspect, and the woman who was attacked is only talking to our Shamari Stone. Tonight, we're in Jane's condo in Northwest D.C., and she would like to sit back on this chair, pick up this Kindle, and read her favorite book, but... You know what? She's a bit psychologically damaged. She feels uneasy at times. She's nervous after she thinks about what happened a couple days ago. She gets around with this walker. She and her husband, Tom, are asking themselves, how could someone attack an elderly woman who's using a walker and minding her own business? Take a look. Police are searching for this robbery suspect dressed in black pants and an Adidas hooded sweatshirt. Detectives say it all started this past Tuesday around 930 at night. Police say the suspect walked up to Jane in the 500 block of 13th Street Northwest while she was waiting for her husband Tom to get their car. They had just finished eating dinner. Suddenly, the suspect pushed her to the ground with her walker, causing her to slam her head on the concrete and cut her arm. He snatches her purse containing her cell phone, credit cards, cash, and a device that measures her blood sugar for type 1 diabetes. Surveillance cameras captured the suspect running away, and medics drove Jane to a trauma center. Tonight, she is back home, and you're going to hear exclusively from her. How are you feeling tonight? Um, uh, pretty well, though. I still uh, have some pain from my head laceration and my uh, left arm uh, uh, cut. First of all, I'm sorry that this happened to you. Do you ask yourself why someone would do something like this? Uh, yes, I do. So traumatic. I can even understand this awful man stealing her purse, but knocking down a frail 79-year-old woman with a walker is beyond belief. And Jane tells me that she's going to continue to use this walker to get around. She's not going to allow this situation to prevent her from enjoying D.C. Meanwhile, this is her dog, Chanel. And she tells me that Chanel has become a therapy dog, helping her deal with the trauma over what happened. Now, D.C. police are asking anyone with information about this to give them a call. There's a reward of up to $1,000 for information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in this case. In Northwest D.C., I'm Shamari Stone. Back to you.